In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to configure a cloud witness on an Azure Stack HCI cluster. So we start here in the dashboard of Windows Admin Center connected to our Azure Stack HCI cluster. I scroll down until I get to settings and I click on settings. Within settings, I select witness, I select my witness type, and in this case, I use a drop down to select cloud witness. I then need to provide a storage account details. I haven't created one yet, so I go to my Azure account. I create a new storage account. I give the storage account a name, which needs to be unique across Azure. So I call it Azure HCI Tailwind Witness. It only needs locally redundant storage. So I configure locally redundant storage. I click review and create. And then I click create and it goes and creates a storage account. Once the storage account is created, I click go to resource and there's several things I need. The first thing I do is put the storage account name into notepad, just so I remember it correctly. Then I show my keys and I copy my access key. Now, for those of you who are clever, I have deleted this storage account since recording the demo. So I put the storage account key in to Windows Admin Center. I also put the name of the storage account. And then the server endpoint of this storage account is core.windows.net. Now that I have that information, I can click save and it will save those witness settings. It asks my credentials to the Azure Stack HCI cluster. I put those in, I click continue, and the witness settings are now configured. So in that demonstration, I showed you how to configure a cloud witness for an Azure Stack HCI cluster.